What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. So, on today's episode, it's another edition of Do You Really Need It? Holiday Collections Part 2. So, if you are wondering why I'm saying Part 2, then go back and check out Part 1, where I discuss six holiday collections that have been released. And so, in this video, I will be discussing, looks like, seven holiday collections that will be covered so if you want to see what those collections are then keep on watching but before we get into anything you already know what you got to do click that subscribe button hit that bell getting the notifications when i post new videos and click that like button letting me know you're liking the stuff that i'm putting out so without wasting any more time let's get into all these collections all right so the first collection i'm be talking about is the two-faced holiday collection again this is gonna be a long list so please bear with me so you got the advent calendar at a hundred dollars the cinnamon bear makeup set at 39 dollars the christmas snuggles and melted kisses liquid lipstick set at 25 dollars you got your lip injection extreme cinnamon bear lip plumper at 29 dollars your enchanted beauty bearably glam makeup set at 36 dollars uh, it says each set comes with an eyeshadow palette highlighter blush duo and a mini mascara Get your Enchanted Forest Makeup Set at $44, your Lip Injection Extreme Plump and Tasty Trio at $25, your Sleepover Survival Kit at $25, your Sugar Plum Fun Makeup Set at $32, your Sex Ed Set at $17, your Enchanted Wonderland Set at $49, your All I Want for Christmas is Sexy Lips and Lashes at $16, Fly the Sexy Skies Better Than Sex Set at $29, the Better Than Sex Vault at $78, the Better Than Sex Power Couple Set at $14, I've Got a Holiday Hangover Skincare at $32, and The Greatest Mascaras at $39. Sweet baby Jesus, that was long. Alright, so, again, as I stated in my previous video, Advent calendars are a complete waste of money, and why would you spend $100 on one? Please save yourself the headache. Um, other than that, um, Too Faced, for the most part, they're known for their, um, the hang, I would say the Hangover skincare set definitely is a must. That, I mean, at $32, that's not that hard of a gamble. Um, um, I would say the Enchanted Beauty Bearably Glam Makeup Set seems like a pretty good value especially for somebody who's just getting started you get an eyeshadow palette a highlighter blush duo, and a mini mascara um i know some people have issues with the hangover not the hangover uh the better than sex mascara i actually like it but again it's a mini so it gives somebody an opportunity to try it before purchasing it for real so um, that one seems pretty fine. Um, everything else, honestly, you don't need to waste your money on a whole set. Just buy what you want out of the set. Because a lot of times, it's yes, it's a deal, but you're getting a ton of products that you don't really want. So I, if, I would just look at what's in the collection, see what you like, and buy it separately. Like, honestly don't waste your money and plus there's just a lot of stuff for you to choose from so just pick what you need don't sit there and buy a whole set like I said the only set that I would personally get is the Enchanted Beauty Bearably Glam makeup set and the uh skin kit the I've got a holiday hangover their hangover line is actually really nice um other than that that's about it so those are the things that I suggest. All right, the next collection I'm going to be talking about is the Morphe Holiday Collection. You're going to get the 35 XO Natural Flirt Palette at $25. The Out of Pout Sweet Pea... If I could talk, Jesus. The Out of Pout Sweet Tea Lip Trio at $16. The Brushless 10-Piece Eye Brush Set and Bag at $25, $29. 
I am Face Shimmer, Setting Mist at $20 and the Premium Lash Trio at $22. So, Morphe mainly is known for their eyeshadow palettes and their brushes and the Setting Mist. They recently, probably say within like the last couple of years, released eyelashes. I've heard okay things about it. But honestly, out of this whole collection, I would just get the palette, the brushes, and then the lashes. Because the lash tree, if you break that down cost-wise, it's actually pretty affordable. Um, the reason why I don't say the setting mist is because you can literally buy their plain setting mist without the special edition packaging for $5 less. Don't waste your money on the special edition setting mist. Makes no sense. But yeah, just get the eyeshadow palette, the brush set, and then the lashes. Those are the things that I suggest from this collection. Alright, so the next collection I'll be talking about is the NYX Holiday Collection. You'll get an Advent Calendar at $55, the Butter Gloss Trio at $10, Lip Topper at $9 each, 3 shades, Lipsticks at $5 each, 6 shades, Setting Spray Kit at $10, Prime and Set Duo at $15, Butter Gloss uh, lip Vault at $50, Epic Ink Liner at $9, 9 uh, the Soft Matte Lip Vault at $25, the Shadow Jelly at $9, comes with four shades, the Glitter Liner Vault, the Six Pan Eyeshadow Palette at $10 each, uh, Matte Lip Trio at $15, Matte Lipstick Vault at $30, comes in 12 shades, the Advent Calendar 12-Day Lipstick Countdown at $40. The Shadow and Liner Set at $20. Mega Shadow Palette at $20. Powder Puff Lip Trio at $15. And the Glossy Lip Trio at $15. This was another long one. So, again, please avoid the Advent Calendars. It is unnecessary and is a literal money grab. You don't need that much product. Also, a lot of these lip vaults, unless you're an avid makeup wearer and you're probably going to be using these on a regular basis, you don't need the vaults. Like, get the smaller ones. So, like, I actually bought my mother the Butter Gloss Trio as her Christmas gift. That was a really, really good um, deal. Because if you break that down, that's a really nice price for each. So, definitely roll with the Butter Gloss Trio. Um, you can get, I would say the lipsticks, like, actually NYX is known for their lip products. So, any of their lip products would be good. Just, again, don't get the vaults. You don't need that much product. Um, their six pin eyeshadow palettes would be good. Their, like, their eyeshadow is actually pretty good. Um, get the Glossy Lip Trio. Like I said, most of their lip products. Um, the Mega Shadow Palette, definitely. Um, the Shadow and Liner Set, absolutely. Um, let's see. Other than that, that's about it. I mean, you can get their Prime and Set Duo and their Setting Spray Kit, but I mean... It, to me, those are absolutely necessary. So, again, I would just get most of the lip products and the eye products. So, those are the things that I would suggest from this collection. All right, the next collection I'll be talking about is the Marc Jacobs Beauty Holiday Collection. You'll get an eyeshadow palette at $49.50, a luminizer at $49, a mascara at $27, a lipstick at $32, lip oil and mini favorites with bag at $49, a skincare set at $75, an eyeliner set at $39, a three-piece mini eye and lip set at $25, and a two-piece mini eye set at $20. So, if I were to roll with anything in this particular collection, I would go with the mini sets. Everything else just seems grossly overpriced for what it is. Like, just $32 for a single lipstick is absolutely ridiculous. Um... The skincare set, I mean, honestly, you can find better products at a cheaper cost, so I wouldn't just drop cash like that on the skincare set unless you're familiar with his line. So honestly, I would get the three-piece mini eye, eye and lip set 
in the two-piece mini eye set just if you're trying to dip your feet into Marc Jacobs land you don't have to feel like you're you've dropped ridiculous amounts of cash for a single for a singular product don't do it just get the mini eye the the three-piece mini eye and lip set and or the two-piece mini eye set those would be my best bets with this collection all right the next collection that i'll be talking about is the lion crime holiday set you'll be getting the greatest hits bangers palette at 58 dollars the greatest hits classics palette at 38 dollars a lip set at 20 dollars Lip gloss set at $22, cream lipstick at $20, clear gloss at $24, hair color at $16 each, and you had two shades to choose from. Um, honestly, go with the eyeshadow palettes. Um, the lip set is actually not a bad value, and then the lip gloss set. Um, that's about it. Um, I'm not sure why someone would drop hair color for a holiday collection unless you're a hair color company but when you're mostly known for your makeup like this just seems like the weirdest thing to put in a holiday set so again just roll with the eyeshadow palettes the lip set and the lip gloss set those would be my best bets for this particular collection all right, so the next collection I'll be talking about is the YSL Holiday Collection. You'll get the Rouge Per Couture at $38 Holiday Edition. It comes in two shades, and then you got the Rouge Velupt Shine Lipstick Balm at $38 each, and you get two shades. Just like my last video, I had no, I had every intentions of saying, "Hey, pick this and or take this from the collection." D just don't. None of these, none of these are worth it. This whole collection is a hard pass. So do you really need any of these things that are in this collection? No. Like you can find lip balms for much cheaper, even like tinted lip balms for much cheaper. And you can find red lipsticks just about anywhere. So it's like, why would I sit here and spend that much money? Nah, we could pass on this whole collection. Pass on it all. And the final collection I'll be talking about is the ABH Holiday Collection. You'll get the Soft Glam 2 at $29. This is a mini version of the Soft Glam palette. You'll get them a matte lipstick at $20. A satin lipstick at $20 each. Comes in three shades. A mini lip gloss set at $28. And the Insta Brow Kit at $25 comes in five shades. So, with this whole collection... The idea of a, a mini soft glam is actually not a bad idea. So, honestly, I would roll with that. Um, there, that lip gloss, like the satin lipstick set and the lip, and mini lip gloss set and the Insta Brow Kit would be the, everything else. I would leave the matte lipstick alone. $20 for a singular lipstick is, to me, a bit ridiculous. So, again, with this particular collection, I would roll with the eyeshadow palette the mini lip gloss set and the insta brow kit set so those are the things that i would roll with all right guys so hopefully you enjoyed this video by the time i post this it'll be christmas day so probably would have finished your shopping but obviously what comes after christmas the after christmas sales and i can guarantee you most of this stuff will be on sale so hopefully this little video and the previous one helped you to make some decent some good decisions on what to get and what to pass on each of these collections don't feel the need don't feel the need that you have to buy an entire collection because with a lot of these things that's a lot of products so just be aware and cognizant of what you should get and what you should pass on because there's so much stuff to choose from and the makeup industry has literally inundated us with products so don't feel the need to hop on everything pick and choose what you want and wait for and a lot of times it's best to wait on them to go on sale so you can get a better value for your bucks so hopefully these videos help obviously before we head out make sure you hit that like button comment down below if there's a collection that you we're looking at and wondering which pieces you should or shouldn't get. But um, hopefully you enjoyed this. And until next time, guys, deuces.